bit of an update in the Grok world of models. They've added a new model. Previously, we were able to transcribe English and many other languages using the Whisper V3 model. They've had that for a number of months now. What they've just added is the Distill Whisper, which is whilst only English, faster and with their new pricing model coming out soon, cheaper. Um, so I wanted to find out well, how much faster, look at some benchmarks, look at some of the spreadsheets, do my own quick testing. And uh, also as a bonus, we've updated the Grok module on make.com to support the new module. And that came out last night. So we'll have a look at that as well. Just to go through the article, the, um, the, the new model came out, it's got this name, um, it's in the drop down if using the mate model and uh, they've gone through and the uh, the real time speed factor. Now, what does that mean? If you or I to transcribe, we would listen to the audio in real time and, uh, and type it out. And if we're lucky, we would do that at one time speed and we'll probably have to listen to it multiple times. So maybe we'd get uh, one word for every, or you know, one minute of transcription for every two minutes we listen to. Well, these models are faster than that. And so 240, times means that it can listen to um, 240 minutes of audio in one minute. That's, uh, that's pretty fast. Um, and when we look at the graphs in a moment, you look at the, uh, if you go to the OpenAI Whisper API, it does about 30 to 35 minutes of audio in a minute. So uh, the OpenAI one is, is uh, substantially slower. Um, and the other aspect of course is cost and uh, correctness. Um, how good is it at doing transcriptions? There is another fourth aspect, which I discovered when I was running through, which is whether it respects the system prompt and does the system prompt make the transcription better or worse? That was interesting. So I'll show you all that in a minute. Now, if you scroll down, um, you'll see that it has a bunch of blurb. A lot of this is coming from the model itself, why people like it. It was already available on uh, Hugging Face and uh, you could have been using it there. Of course, one of the reasons to use it off the Grok API is just how fast Grok is. Um, and for another month or so, free. Um, so Grok has started to talk about the pricing. They've uh, been free since they launched their cloud model uh, earlier this year. Um, and so they're looking at saying that there's gonna be two cents per hour. Uh, now that is an, um, an hour of uploaded audio. Um, so as it said, four hours of audio, 240 minutes, they can process in about a minute. Um, so it's not two cents for the minute, it's two cents for the uh, per hour of the two, four hour video that you uploaded, is my understanding. Um, they've also yeah, restated their pricing. I think it was three cents, and now they're saying that the original large model is now 11 cents. Um, all that's arbitrary since they weren't actually charging anyone. And so, uh, and this is kind of like, I think the first time they've indicated when they might start uh, charging. Now, charging is uh, possibly a bad thing, but I think if you're on the Grok uh, discords or if you've ever used Grok at all, one thing we're all looking forward to is rate limits being increased. Um, it can be quite tedious to do something and get excited about how fast Grok is and then find out you hit rate limits on the regular. So as long as prices mean much larger rate limits, we should be good to go. Um, implement uh, a minimum per request charge for 10 seconds. So I guess they're looking, you know, if you give them lots and lots of tiny things, if your, if your API is cutting things up into lots and lots of small things and you give it to them, they are going to have a minimum charge, but it is tiny. Um, so uh, nonetheless, there is you know, some sort of billing thing going on there. So here are the two models. This is the one we already had, um, which I've done a video on before. Um, we're looking at the error rate. As you can see, the error rate of distill is going up um, and, uh, and the cost. And uh, what's not mentioned here, which I will talk about, is the support for uh, system prompts and, uh, and whether they're good or bad. Um, and uh, performance. Now, they've got some graphs here, which I will uh, go to the source where the graphs come from, which is this uh, artificial analysis.ai site. And you can sort of uh, see, so again, these ratios are, are one minute of, of audio, or sorry, 240 minutes of audio being processed in one minute. Um, so you can sort of see that the, uh, the two whisper models under Grok are substantially faster than OpenAI um, and, and other options. 
Um, so uh, then there's variance, which is uh, how consistent that is. And I would like to assume that uh, Croc's variance will improve with payment um, as they you know, add more, uh, more processing capacity so you don't get uh, queued up. Um, what else we got? Price. So of note, um, if you're doing any substantial amount of processing audio, is what's it going to cost you? Um, and uh, so if we sort of look here, uh, the OpenAI versus the Replicate, it's about six times more to use OpenAI for the same amount of audio. Um, and then another half or another third on top of that. So we're looking at six times three, 18 times more expensive to OpenAI than the Distill, um, or about uh, 12 times more expensive to use OpenAI over Grok on Whisper. And that can add up over time. All that being said, um, here were the results of my own tests. I found some files. These files were about 20 to 25 megabytes. Um, these two were actually bigger than 25 megabytes and the limit uh, was 25 megabytes. So I just reprocessed them down, changed their bit rate. Um, so they were small enough and gave them to Grok, uh, the Whisper 3, the Distill Whisper and the OpenAI API. And so you can see that it, uh, these big ones took uh, 41 to 48 seconds to process um, and compared to 10 seconds and eight seconds for the distill. So for the bigger files, distill was distinctly faster. Um, it was five to six times faster than OpenAI as uh, it's sort of talked about before. What I noticed though, was that for the smaller files, um, not faster or perhaps even slower than using the Whisper V3 model on Grok, which was interesting. Um, still, still faster than OpenAI, but again, not not substantially faster. And so, if you're giving uh, lots of, if you've got lots of small files, um, there may not be a speed improvement that's noticeable with Grok at the moment. And and maybe that's in part because maybe they're holding the file a bit too long because of queuing. I don't know. We'll see whether this this improves over time for small files. Um, but it may just be that it ramps up, uh, just the way that their chipset works that it, uh, it gets in the swing of things processing. Um, but the price is still going to be there. So lots and lots of small files will still cost 12 to 18 times more with OpenAI. Um, now, I've got two tabs here. Let's quick, actually, I'll quickly show you uh, how I generated these. Uh, the, the make.com, the files were over in a Google Drive and I just ran through them and gave them to the three different models on the three different platforms. I mentioned that uh, the Grok module has been upgraded. Uh, if you refresh your scenario, you'll see that the module has now been upgraded and you can now pick which of the two uh, modules, uh, sorry, which of the two models you wish to use for transcription. Um, uh, for transcribing, there is still only one model, only the, uh, only the Whisper Large V3 can do transcribing um, and the still Whisper Large V3 only does English when it comes to transcription. So that's now available. I've chosen the large V3 as the default. Uh, it is more expensive, but it is better in more scenarios from my testing. So we'll stick, and that is the default from before. So we'll leave that as the default. You can just change it and choose to use distill if that works for you. Um, and for the open AI, um, using the whisper. And here I've got the prompt. I was playing around with not prompts um, and uh, that was all that was there for. Uh, essentially just cutting the time and storing the time. And that's where that time came from. So finally, let's have a look at whether the transcriptions were any good. Um, so this is a tab with a system prompt for all three and then a tab without. And the reason I bring this up is the importance of the system prompt is uh, my name. My name is Dr. Nick with an NIC. Um, my business is Mokra with the M-O-C-R-A. And uh, I found Whisper uh, doesn't know how to spell those. And so uh, I like the system prompt because it will then spell them correctly. It also misspells Grok because there are different ways to what that word means. G-R-O-K, for example, versus G-R-O-Q, which was version I wish. Llama, which, um, is an animal which has a spelling of double L-A-M-A and yet Whisper would misspell that regularly. So I liked a system prompt to be able to provide those four words, for example. So if I ever found words sounding like that, it would prefer uh, my spellings. However, 
I noticed that uh, the Grok Distill did not care for my system prompt. Uh, it just seemed to ignore it altogether. So that was interesting. Uh, I haven't found any reason for that yet. I've, there seems to be on the, on the wider internet uh, that system prompts should work. Uh, but here on Grok, currently at the time recording, not seeing any uh, benefit from system prompts with the Distill model. Now, here's interesting. So this again, this was me providing my basic words to a uh, thing. Now, uh, to this audio, what is that audio? It was uh, an American president giving a speech and uh, because I found it on the internet. And look at this, I'm pretty confident this American president did not say my name nor my business uh, back in the 30s and 40s. So this is a problem. Um, errors happen, but when the errors are because of the system prompt, that's a problem. Um, and uh, another thing I've seen in the past is uh, with the transcriptions on Grok at Whisper has been uh, this sort of repeated pattern that seems to be an error. Um, and uh, you can see it again down here. Um, I'm pretty sure no American president has ever said this word, let alone multiple times. Um, whereas the OpenAI transcript was just genuinely better. Um, both in that it ignored the system prompt because it wasn't relevant, but it's just better in so many ways. And uh, so OpenAI might be 12 to 18 times more expensive, but betterness counts, right? So uh, yeah, totally, totally keep this in mind when you're picking both uh, which provider, whether it's the OpenAI module uh, for Whisper, whether it's the Grok module for Whisper, keep in mind price, but also keep in mind just you may need to do extra proofread the Grok Llama or the Grok Whisper um, module for uh, whatever the transcriptions are. Uh, this is the distill one. Uh, at a glance, it looked really good. And that led me to think maybe the problem was the system prompt. Maybe the system prompt was causing the problems with the transcriptions. So I ran the test again. Um, and so this is now running the same audio files with the same models, but without a system prompt for the Grok ones. And this now came out uh, great. I didn't see any errors um, in any of these. And so that led me to think that um, Grok may be fantastic uh, running the Whisper models, both the Distill and the, uh, the bigger uh, Whisper model without a system prompt. And if you need a system prompt, maybe try the OpenAI uh, Whisper instead. So that might be uh, the little bit takeaway that I've gotten from uh, from preparing this. So uh, other than that, fantastic. Excited that uh, Grok is, is rolling out more models, um, both um, obviously when Llama 3.1 came out, they've had that out on, on uh, GoDay. Uh, they've now brought out a new transcription uh, model. Um, and I'm sure as the weeks and months go by, they'll bring out models that do new things like generating audio um, and uh, accepting pitches, etc., and all the other multimodal things we're coming to love with OpenAI, Claude, um, and the like. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the channel. Um, and uh, if you are interested in Grok, they have their own Discord, just totally jump on there. Um, and I will see you in the next video.